Mm-hmm. We're Kate Xavier, and I'll talk about Bayesian framework for measuring association between categorical variables. So text and media on the web can be assigned labels uh, like emotions or topics and political stances or policies being promoted and can be labeled from its information. Once you have these labels, you can check for association between them when they tend to appear together or they can be independent when uh, they appear together in the same rate as you expect by chance and they can be opposed when uh, one when the appearance of one is uh, re- reduces the chance that the other one appears this can measure with this quantity here it's called the added value so the association uh, variables uh, they have positive uh, value uh, added values Op- opposed variables have negative values and independent ones have uh, values uh, consistent with zero Traditional association rule learning rely on point estimates of this value here. So in this case, we are comparing the estimate with the zero, uh, with zero added value. And you can uh, see how this uh, case has a higher uh, added value, but it's considered independent, whereas this one is considered association. So in our method, we, instead of estimating a point estimate, we are estimating the probability distribution function for the added value. So it becomes clear why this case is considered independent. Uh, Comparing comparing our method to the traditional method is basically a trade-off between quality and quantity. Our method provides clear and precise information about the data, uh, what you can get from the data, but is lower on the downside uh, to compute. So we, we believe it's better for uh, when you have to test fewer candidate associations. As a demonstration, we applied to a set of emotions on tweets. We had 30 emotion categories, and that leads to 400, about 400 candidate associations. We were able to test for them in a few hours on a modern laptop. And we've had some interesting findings with that. Our implementation is easy to use, and it's available as open source on GitHub. Thank you.